Hey Nail Family, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Your girl is back with part two of our Barbie nail series. In this video, we're gonna be doing a super long Barbie kawaii set with glitter. I'm super excited for this one. Um, but without further ado, you all, let's get right into the video. So for this set, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite glitters from Nail House, which is their HBIC. It's their like OG, one of their OG glitters. Um, and then I'm gonna be using this glitter from Dynamic Nail Supply. It's their SG06, very pretty glitter as well. I initially was only going to use the Dynamic glitter. Um, Y'all, I couldn't choose. I was choosing from four different glitters. I actually had made a community tab post um, like a week ago asking you all which one I should use. And very few of you chose um, um, the one I'm applying to the nails right now from Dynamic. A lot of you chose one, which was that um, glitter right there from HBI, from not, not from HBIC, but HBIC from Nail House. Um, and yeah, but I really wanted to use this one right here. I thought it was really, really pretty and it gave like Barbie vibes as well. Um, I couldn't choose. So I'm like, maybe I should do an ombre. I actually ended up doing a practice nail um, to see how it would look. Um, and I kind of at first really didn't like it, but I ended up going with an ombre. And it actually came out really, really pretty. But anyway, y'all. Look at how long these nail tips are, y'all. Like, these are huge. Like, I had to ask the girls to guess how long they were on Instagram. Like, they're... Before I cut them down, they're like four inches. But when I cut them down, they're like three and a half inches, y'all. These are super long. Um, so here's my practice nail that I was telling you all about. I didn't like um, encapsulate it or apply any top coat. I just kind of wanted to see like, you know, get an idea how they look together ombre Um At first, I didn't like the colors um, the glitters ombre at all um and i went into this knowing that i was only going to use the glitter from dynamic the light pink one but then i changed my mind and of course i eventually like you know just went ahead and ombre them and i ended up liking it in the end like it the look grew on me but anyway you all so these nail tips here are actually full cover tips that i got initially from aliexpress but you can also find them on shein which is where i I ordered like some more from um they're full cover tips they're super duper long like I always um some of you have seen these like the real ones we watch in the videos mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding but no seriously um have seen these already and um I be mean, I've put y'all onto these and I like tell y'all how y'all can use them as full cover tips but you can also like cut them like I did here um and use them as you know half well tips for like an actual set um but they're really good for like you know full cover press ons as well and i really love them because you can cut them down to any length at all but the only thing i don't like about it is technically they're considered like coffins so they do they are like very tapered especially at the you know like the tips of them um and i just really wish they was kind of like square so they can be like fuller um i already have tiny nail beds and like that is also why you all don't see me do like coffin nails too much is because like coffin is like skinny and my nails are already tiny so sometimes they don't really look too great on me as like square wood that's why square is my favorite shape to do on myself that's why i always do square um but yeah anyway um nonetheless i love the tips and i will link them um for you all in the description below sorry for the ramble y'all but yes i just want to let y'all know that these tips are from shein i will leave them linked in the description for you all also i am using as always nail houses size 16 kalinsky brush as well as their pro monomer and Anyone interested in shopping Nail House can find the link to their site in the description below and use my code Portia for savings. And if you don't have this HBIC glitter from them already, you must get it. It's like literally a must-have glitter. Can never go wrong with pink if you're like a pink girl. But anyway, you all. Yes, I'm super excited for these nails, y'all. Like, they were so fun to do. Um, and really, honestly, first, if you haven't seen my um, first Barbie nail series set, um, oh, here right now, I'm just showing you all the glitters that were the choices, like, um, in the actual camera. Because they do look a little different in that post that I posted, just, like, because the lighting was a little different. But, yeah, those are the glitters. Very beautiful. Um, but ended up going with these two here. Um, but anyway, y'all, what was I saying? I just forgot that fast. Oh, so I was saying that if you haven't seen that, the first set for our Barbie series, already go ahead and check that out. Um... Yeah, those are really, really pretty. I don't even know how I'm going to top those. Like, go on to this. I don't know how I'm going to top those. Um, I feel like all the Barbie sets that I'll do a part of the series will be, you know, cute and unique in their own way. But 
I set the bar really high when those there. Um, but anyway, you all, as y'all can see, I'm going in with this, you know, first layer of glitter from Dynamic. And I will link this one for you all because it's hard to find, um, you know, some of Dynamic's glitters or just acrylics in general because they have so many of them, a part of so many different collections. And yeah, I will link this glitter for y'all because it's so pretty. Um... But anyway, yeah, I'm just applying this glitter here so that we can start our ombre. And like I said, even now at this point in the video, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to ombre them. That's why you always see me um, use that HBIC glitter on the pinky nail. And then I skipped over to the ring finger, I mean the index finger nail. Because I just wasn't sure, y'all. I just wasn't sure. I really wanted all of these to be like full the chunky glitter, the like pink one from dynamic but yeah anyway ends up doing the ombre on all of them and i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this part so far um and stop rambling <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. This is how we are looking with the ombre part complete, like the glitter application. And I like them. I'm glad that I did end up ombreing them. Um, I think they came out really cute and was even like more cute once encapsulated and top coated. But um, again, the glitters that I use are HBIC from Night, um, Night Dynamic, Nail House, HBIC from Nail House, and then Dynamic Nail Supplies is um, SG06. Very pretty glitters. Next, I'm gonna go on with Mia Secrets Clear Acrylic to encapsulate the nails. And y'all, these are just like so long. Like, these are definitely the longest nails I've done on myself so far. And the reason I did this because I thought it would be fun. And then also I wanted to do a whole lot of kawaii and I wanted like, you know, a lot of room. 
um i initially went in doing these nails thinking i was gonna um cover them like the entire all of the nails entirely in kawaii but you all will see how i did it it's i pretty much like didn't cover all of the nails because i wanted the glitter and stuff to still show um but yeah and i wanted to use like larger charms and i actually was going to use this one charm some of y'all know what i'm talking about it's like there's a huge barbie charm um that i was going to use but ended up not using i ended up using a smaller one but yeah that's pretty much why i did the longer nails i thought it would be fun i wanted to fit more kawaii charms on there um and like some big kawaii charms and things like that so yeah i think this is definitely not like my like style like um length of nail wise like i don't or length wise i don't do like super long nails like this or i don't do my nails no more um period but when i used to do my nails and actually keep them on my length used to be like half this length so yeah but to each his own people like all different type of nail lengths but um yeah and also honestly i initially got these tips because um for those of you who may not know i do press ons for people and people like all different type of lengths and for the girls who like longer lengths um i used to have to like double tip and i hated doing that so much like i like to you know cut cut time down you know i don't like to spend too much time doing stuff i don't have to do and i hated double tipping so bad and these are perfect because you can cut these to any length that you need So this is how the first nail is looking encapsulated. Super, super pretty. I am loving it. I knew at this point that this would look super bomb once they were shaped and the top coat was on. Like, I just knew it at this point. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish encapsulating the remaining nails and then pop back in in a bit. Alrighty y'all, this is how we are looking with the nails all the way complete with application. I am loving it. Y'all, I'm loving how the glitter at the base, the um, HBIC from Nail House, it's like kind of like sheer-ish, like it's kind of like translucent. Um, you'll see more of what I mean once the top coat is applied, but yeah, it's so pretty y'all. Um, next, I'm going to go in and shape and file. Y'all know the drill and then we're going to move on into these designs y'all. For those of you who may be new, I kind of like to mention every now, well, maybe like every time, but um, that I do, just in case you're new, have a full and depth shaping tutorial on my channel, as well as application, a couple of those for beginners, um, or just if you're, you know, just anyone, um, but mainly for beginners, as well as I do have a... Um, they're linked in the description below as well as down there in the description there are a few other like core like important videos that you all may be looking for um that's very helpful as well um i highly recommend checking out that description box 
so as far as shaping these nails went because they are super long um i really didn't struggle too much only the part where i'm trying to like grab the nail like the whole nail because it's so long but it's pretty much the same i literally have the same process as i do like when i'm shaping normally um but it's just like you know it takes longer because they are like longer so you have more of a you know you have a more of a surface area to shape and file you know what i'm saying so yeah but other than that it's the same just a little bit um longer So real quick y'all i just wanted to pop in to say that um i know i've been saying this for the last couple of videos or whatever y'all but i just literally have been waiting for stuff in the mail as well as i've been needing to put stuff together and like organize it like you know by winners you know what i'm saying because it's gonna be quite a few winners y'all for our 50k giveaway it is coming soon is what i want to say um i made a little tease on my community tab today um posting like the charm boxes that i was putting together the custom ones um y'all it's gonna be lit it's gonna be lit so 50k giveaway coming soon did not forget about y'all i would never forget about y'all <laughs> um i'm so excited for this giveaway y'all so yes 50k giveaway coming soon y'all so be, be on the lookout for the video and those little charm boxes right there is not even like a half of it like y'all it's gonna be it's, so y'all know how many when for those of y'all who you know i'm saying like are regulars and y'all you know be tuning in y'all know that we be having quite a few winners on our giveaways and y'all know that each time um we get more and more winners and actually this giveaway um has a little bit more winners than i anticipated this time but it is what it is i was just super excited and i just kept buying stuff that's why y'all still waiting because i've been mean, keep buying stuff for the giveaway and i keep waiting for stuff in the mail so the video hasn't came out because i haven't filmed it yet but yeah y'all i'm just super excited and i'm gonna be filming it probably tomorrow um i'm literally editing this video the day before i upload it um it's thursday the 10th so yeah y'all i'm just super excited i'm so excited also i have seen like a couple comments asking like how to enter the giveaway there's no giveaway yet y'all there's no giveaway yet um whenever the giveaway will happen it will be a video uploaded and all of the rules will be in that video all of them so yeah stay tuned i'd say to give an estimate that the giveaway video will be up by the end of this coming week but it can be sooner than that so just stay tuned All right, y'all. So here are the nails completely shaped and filed. And one thing about me is no matter the length, the girl is going to get these nails crispy, okay? If you have not checked out my shaping tutorial, check it out. I highly recommend it. Okay, y'all. So next, we're going to move into buffing these nails, cleaning them so that we can move into these designs, y'all. Super excited.
All right, y'all. So before we get into this kawaii, we're going to go ahead and get into this glitter reveal with this top coat, y'all. Like, I wish that y'all could hear me. Literally, I was so mesmerized by, like, this glitter reveal. Like, it, I don't even feel like the, the camera is doing this justice. Like, this glitter and this ombre is, like, so beautiful. Like, literally, I, I was so mesmerized. I just kept saying, oh, my God. Like, this is so beautiful, y'all. Like, I really wish I could see, like for real like an up close and personal i'm gonna try as close as i can but y'all this glitter is beautiful and it's ombre like i didn't like it at first but i really love it y'all like it's kind of to die for like i really love it y'all can see what i mean now when i say that that hbic the glitter at the base is very light it's kind of like sheer i love it y'all i just love everything about it like i just love it so much like but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all um, enjoy the rest of this glitter reveal on the rest of the nails, y'all. I was so mesmerized. Like, I literally barely had any words. These are so pretty. I could like literally eat these. Like they're so pretty, y'all. They're so pretty. And I'm not a plain or a simple nail girl, but I could wear these nails just like this. Like this glitter combo with the top coat, the shiny. I just I could wear these just like that. It's so pretty. But yeah, so we went in with the top coat first so that you know once we do the quiet charms, we don't have to go around all of them, of course, with some top coats. So let's get into these kawaii charms next, you all. So I poured out my board. I don't know how many of you all saw my lives with me um putting my charm collection on display, like not my entire collection, but like one of each of my charms so that I can know what I have because sometimes it can be difficult because I have so much to remember all that I have so I thought this was a perfect idea it's also like great for you all so if you take clients so you don't have to like ramble through all of your charms and kind of just show like your clients what you have so they can choose you know uh, I thought that was a perfect idea as well as because you all have been asking to see my entire charm collection and um with those videos I did go live and I thought it was a perfect time for y'all to see my entire charm collection so yeah um the lives are still the live videos are still available on my channel under the live tab you'll find them there um recommend checking it out but as of right now i'm just collecting some charms that i think that i want to use for this set um you know that's giving like barbie vibes i chose a lot of different charms because like i wasn't really sure it was kind of like a freestyle just freestyle of the of course like where I wanted the charms to go um and going into this like I told you all I was going to do like the entire like like the full nail like covered in kawaii charms but it's gonna be like a kawaii like junk type of um vibe um and I pulled out way too many charms to fit on all the nails like I was never gonna fit all these nails or all these charms on these nails but it was just charms that I pulled out you know that I was gonna use just in case you know what I'm saying like y'all know what I'm saying so yeah All right, y'all. So this is our charm layout. And like I said, knew that I was not going to be able to fit all of these. I don't know. I thought that I would fit majority of them on there. But like I said, I didn't cover all of the nails entirely. So yeah, anyway. But these right here are the super large charms that I told y'all that I'm, I was going to use, which is why that I made these nails super long. Um, because I was these are not for nails, y'all. They're like for... I used to make phone cases. That's what I bought them for initially. And I asked y'all in my... Like, I think it was one of my... It was my latest live. Um, If I should use that huge Barbie charm on a set. And y'all said, yeah, yellow. And I was, y'all. But thinking about it, I don't think it would have looked right. And it would have been taken up too much of... You know what I'm saying? Like, the space on the nails. Because also, I would have to work around that charm. If that makes sense. So, yeah. But anyway, y'all. So... 
this is our layout i'm roughing up this index finger nail because i am or i was initially going to go in and apply like um these letter charms on this nail spelling barbie um and y'all these charms were just like so heavy like i couldn't even um like the nail was so heavy like i could barely even hold it like straight up on its own without holding it up because it was just so heavy and then also i wasn't quite loving the vibe of it like i think i would say that for a different set or maybe not at all because it was just it was too much y'all was doing too much i didn't like it i did go in and pull those off of there and use some smaller ones um spelling barbie but and then I'm not liking the look at all. I was going, I'm going for a kawaii look. So that didn't really fit the look. So I ended up not like ditching that all together and just going in with my kawaii charms and still using some like metal charms as well to make it like a junk look. So I wanted that to be the look as well. But y'all know what I'm saying. I ended up ditching the letter charms all together. But I'm pretty much going to go ahead and let you guys watch my process. Um, I did want to mention that I am applying, um, these all using Maya McCart rhinestone glue. Love that glue. Um, you do have to cure it, so it gives me a bunch of time to work with. So, love that. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this part, and I'll pop back in in a bit. So basically, like I told you all, I'm just applying the charms, you know, like randomly and where I think they look right. And also, I want to say that I think that we're going to do one more Barbie nail set to complete our nail series, our Barbie nail series. Um, initially, like I said, I was going to do three or four for the series. And I think three will be good. I don't want to like, you know, um, do too much with the whole Barbie, Barbie series. I don't want to carry on for too long. Um... So I think I'll do one more for you all and we're going to keep it moving because um, I have so many more ideas in mind that I have to get out, y'all. Literally, we're about to be in fall soon, like next month, but I'm so, like, it always, like, irks me a little bit when um, the girls be doing, like, you know, all different type of nails earlier, like... I've seen Halloween nails in August. Like, I started seeing them last... I mean, not August, July. I started seeing them last month, and I'm like, please, like, please. Can a girl get her summer nail sets out first? Like, <laughs> well, they don't have nothing to do with me, but you know what I'm saying? Like, can we just, like, stick to summer right now? I mean, people can do whatever they want to do, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like, it's like, please let me get my sets that I have to get out first, you know, before I start doing that. So y'all won't see, like, fall nails from me until, like, next month, honestly. Because, like, I'm not doing that. We're still in summer. Summer's not over until su September something. Like, like mid-September, summer's not over until then. So I'm going to keep doing my summer nails respectfully. Y'all going to keep seeing my bright colored summer nails um, until, I not, until I don't feel like doing them anymore. Um, 
so yeah like i think literally they skipped fall and started right into halloween like people are literally doing halloween nails right now so but like i said people can do whatever they want to do but i'm just saying um it's like let us live a little bit <laughs> you know what i'm saying like let's live in the present let's live in the now let's live in the moment you know what i'm saying so yeah so y'all gonna keep seeing my fun summer nails cute little nails and i'll get into fall and then halloween when we get there you know what i'm saying so yeah because that's definitely coming but we're living in the now right now okay y'all we're living in the now and one thing about me i'm gonna always do what i want to do like i never really cared for trends and you know jumping into what everybody else doing at the moment i really never cared to do that so yeah i'm gonna keep doing me but anyway um i want to mention that you all see how kind of what i mean um what i was saying earlier about how you have to if you use like super large charms um i, I kind of really didn't like talk about it but if you use really large charms, you'll have to, like, work around those because, like, when you close your hands taking videos, you want it to, like, look right. So, as y'all can see, like, that big old Barbie head in the middle nail, I had to, like, work around that on the index finger nail. Um, that's kind of why I did, like, that whole, um, the whole bling little trail thing with the butterfly. I was thinking of something that I could do that's, like, that works around the Barbie ponytail because it was kind of, like, hanging off the nail. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want your, like, charms to, like, clash you know what i'm saying like you don't want them to clash and overlap which is why as well as you all saw i worked around it with i closed my hand and worked around it with um the ring finger nail as well so you want to make sure that your charms like especially if they're large and hang off the nail off the nails that they don't clash y'all know what i'm saying so that's pretty much it you all right now i'm just bagging up the rest of these charms that i didn't use and at this point in the video i was feeling like i was feeling like you know in the mood for giving so um if y'all want to be twins or whatever and just in general like these charms are really really cute and they i just i'll stick them somewhere and, and i'll probably never go back to them they're just like random charms so if you kind of want to be twins have cute little barbie nails pink nails kawaii nails whatever um comment in the comment section below if you're interested in winning these i'm kind of i'm gonna give them away you know what i'm saying like it's gonna be random it's gonna be it's like a quick small little giveaway i just felt like giving them away to one of y'all um so all of these charms here that were extra and then i'm also gonna add a little barbie charm and a couple little boy charms in there as well just in case you want to do like a little barbie set you know what i'm saying or whatever whatever <laughs> so comment in the comment section below and it will be u.s only sorry it's only u.s if you're in the u.s comment in the comment section below let's see hashtag um because it's gonna be a secret y'all hashtag let me see and when i say secret i mean like giveaway just won't be in the title because it's not a giveaway video as well as the scammers be coming so hashtag barbie girl in the comment sections below if you are interested in winning this bag of little charms and i'll pick a random winner um very soon um keep up to date on my videos because i will announce the winners in my video as well as i'll make a post about it as well here on youtube um for whoever wins so you guys giveaway only and yeah you all this is our finished results how freaking cute are these y'all these are so cute y'all know i had to do at least one kawaii set for this barbie nail series i think these are really really beautiful i love the whole kawaii junk um type of vibes like i just love it so much y'all it's definitely giving barbie girl like it's definitely giving barbie um i love them so much and i think one of my favorite nails is the pinky nail because i didn't like cover the whole ombre part um i just love them all though honestly but i just love the simplicity of the pinky nail but anyway you all if you all enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as i do go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified each and every single time that i post a new video our last Barbie set for this whole Barbie series will be coming up next, so stay tuned for that. Um, I haven't did them yet or filmed them, um, but I do have my idea, and I'm super excited. So, yeah, you all, um, stay tuned. So, thank you all so much for watching this video, though, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.